Well, in part one, we brought the shore power from the shore to the boat. Now, in part two, we're going to take that power that we've brought to the boat and bring it to what's called a distribution panel, or at home, we would call it a breaker box. So I went to Paneltronics, I found the basic panel that I needed, and I needed a couple extra things on it, so I called them up. They were more than happy to oblige and fixed it. So now I have a main 30 amp with two 15 amp breakers and two 20 amp. Now I have plenty of electricity to add my air conditioner, uh, refrigerator, microwave, some of those extra things. So that's what we're going to do today, is we're going to install that panel. Well here are the basic tools you'll need, and I suggest making sure that you have a good wire strippers and cutters. And again, don't use the household grade wiring. Now here we used marine grade 10-3 uh, stranded and tinned wire. Also, I like to use these eye connectors rather than the fork. It's just more secure. I mean, your boat is going to be bouncing around. You don't want things to come loose. My next project was to make a template for the opening. before cutting and made sure there were no other wires in the way. I drilled four cutting holes and carefully cut the opening. Dry fitted it, needed to do a little more trimming. Now although I have this diagram, I wanted to double check with the boatyard foreman, Ed, to make sure I hooked this up right. Alright, so Ed, I got, I got the new panel. I want to make sure I got it wired up right. What do I got to do on this thing? Okay, you just have the three wires that come from your, uh, your AC inlet, uh, coming from the, uh, the, the power, shore power coming into the boat. You have a green, a black, and a white wire. The white wire or the black wire is the hot wire. So the black wire will go right opposite on the other side of the breaker from this black wire here. Your white wire is a neutral, so it'll go just the opposite side of this breaker over on this side. And your green is the ground. You'll just bring it right into the uh, the breaker on this side right here. Okay, so just go on the opposite side of where they Outside are. Outside the breaker is where they're at. Correct. Yep. Okay. All right. Ed, thank you very much. You're welcome. When trimming the outer case, be careful not to nick the shield casing. And I measured the amount of bare wire I needed for the connectors. Be sure to use the right size stripper cutter so that you don't cut into the strands of wire. Give this a good strong crimp. Tug on it a little. Be sure that it's on tight. Although it's a little bit of a snug fit, it's not that difficult to get these uh, connectors in place.
And once all three wires are on, now I'm ready to connect my appliance wires. The black goes to the back of the breaker. The white to the neutral bus and the green to the ground bus. Now these two wires go to the DC breaker. Because this panel has red LED lights so you can see and read the breakers at night. So whether you're upgrading or thinking of adding new panels, think Paneltronics for the latest innovations in power distribution and switches.